So I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakwadash. I would also like to give a double honor unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. America is falling, falling faster than you think. All right, and this Nordstrom's closer in San Francisco is just one of the many recent incidents within the past three or four years of this retail apocalypse. But it's, it's, it's bigger than that because you got a lot of these democratic states where crime is high, where um, you got a lot of lawlessness, where, you know, in California, for example, San Francisco, L.A., you got these laws where people can just run into the stores and grab shit. That's one of the main reasons why I'm pretty sure this Nordstrom is closing. And I've been down downtown San Francisco before, and, you know, it was a pretty nice area and whatever. But now, all the businesses around there are closing. And this is, go oh, is this going to be a continuing, ongoing trend here in Babylon, here in America. All right? And once, you know, these, um, what do you say, these... Um, these big stores begin to close, these these these, these malls. That's what, what happens, the loss of jobs, okay? Everyone can't work from home, okay? So what are these people that worked at this nursery maybe for 10, maybe, uh, you know, for some time, what do they do? They go get unemployment for a little while or, or, or you know, what do they do? It's a, it's a lot of tech jobs out, the, out there in, in, you know, in um, the Bay Area, but everyone's not, in, everyone's not tech savvy. Everyone... It's not into that, okay? But it's going to be a lot of lost jobs out there. More companies, more large companies, retail companies uh, are, are, um, are shutting down. And this is just the beginning, all right? But it's falling fast. It's, it's really falling faster than a lot of people think, all right? Because you, you're going to, like I said, you're going to see an ongoing trend all throughout America where you're going to see cities that, that are, uh, you know, like they're going to, you know, close these brick and mortar shops. It's easier for them to ship the shit, you know, uh, um, you know, next day or, you know, FedEx or, or whatever. All right. So let me um, read a little bit of this article. I ain't going to read the whole thing, but um, I'm going to read some key points in it. But it shows you the, 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 the state of state of Babylon, all right, the state of America. All right. This is a, you know, billion dollar city where you got businesses and all this tech shit and, you know, but this, this department store that's, you know, been there for, for, you know, some time now, they closing down, they closing up shop. It says, North from San Francisco's flagship, which for decades occupies crucial real estate in San Francisco's center, Century Mall on Market Street, closed its door Sunday. The last days of the high-end store known for its shoes and services were grim. ABC 7 on a recent visit captured images of empty display cases and stacks of naked mannequins and and interviewed an employee whose worn, whose worn black sneakers were the only part of him in the shot to protect his identity, speaking darkly about crime in the city's once vibrant shopping district. All right? So you got, you know, they're trying to implement laws to stop people from the smash and dash shit, but it ain't going to happen. All right? It's, it's not going to work. All right? And this is really what the elites want. They want a city... With high crime, so what they could do what? Bring in troops, all right. Bring in uh, uh, troops to restore order, all right. And they know it's going to be resistance, but this is all a part of this man's new world order uh, agenda, all right. To to you know, yeah, we're going to bring order. The order is going to come in the form of this device, all right. If you don't have this device, you can't you can't move around the city. You can't do this. You can't do that, all right. Everything goes back to this man's uh, this man's M A R K. All right, that karate. All right, the store closing has prompted yet another round of hand ringing of hand ringing about the future of downtown San Francisco. Since the pandemic sent sent tech workers home by the thousands, and some never to return, foot traffic in the area has plummeted. Stores have closed in droves, and retail vacancy rate in the city was six percent in the first quarter of 2023, the highest since. Uh, in the city since 2006, according to the data from Cushman and Wakefield, a commercial real estate service firm. So, 
and that's and that's prime real estate down there in downtown. That that you know department store. They they shutting their doors. They shutting down. We got a lot of they said you know a, a, a lot of vacancies in that city. You know in in that in that area downtown. Announcing the closure of Nordstrom's this springs, Jamie Nordstrom, the company's chief stores officer, said the dynamic of the downtown San Francisco market has changed dramatically over the past several years, impacting customers' foot traffic. To our stores and our ability to operate successfully, and that contribute, you know, of course, crime contributed to that too. You know, the mics don't want to go down there and shop when you got niggas, you know, running in and out of the store grabbing shit. Okay, you know, when crime is high, where they may not grab shit out the store, but they may grab their purse or, or, or you know, stick them up. All right, but that's the reality. That's the 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 that's the reality in, in Babylon right now. You see. I mean, you see all kind of crazy nigga shit going on, man. You see kids. I seen a video of uh, uh, some little some little niggas robbing, um, taking this Edomite's bike. You see videos of, of niggas robbing the pizza man. Niggas running up on um, women, the elderly robbing them. All right, this is this is your beloved America. All right, and you got a lot of these Edomites that that's gonna fight to the death for, for this place, and they're gonna they're gonna die. All right, but they're gonna get a lot of you niggas before they do. All right. Um, I'll read, read a little bit more. But critics of San Francisco political leaders have jumped on the closure as yet another result of the city's progressive Democratic leadership. In a lot of these, a lot of these Democratic cities, L.A., uh, San Francisco, uh, 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 Chicago, uh, you know, certain uh, parts of New York, hey, they're being, uh, they got high crime rates. Okay. Ironically, the headquarters is. Headquarters of X is just a few blocks west of the now shuttered Nordstrom. The chief executive, Elon Musk, recently tweeted that he planned to stay. He took a dig into the city in making the announcement. The city is a doom spiral the, the, with one company after another left or leaving. He said, we will not. San Francisco is beautiful. San Francisco, though, through his for, throw, throw, though others forsake you, we will always be your friend. So he even say, hey, of course, this devil, this Elon Musk, he sees that the city is in a doom. Are all these the majority of these cities, all right, um, are pretty doomed, are pretty much doomed. Our America's doomed, all right. We just waiting, waiting for that day of doom for, for this place to be taken out. But we see it falling, and people don't think it's falling fast. It's falling fast, all right, faster than you think, all right. Um, so let me start with this. It's been a retail apocalypse. And brothers, multiple brothers have went into this topic. It's been a retail apocalypse for some time now. All right, this is saying something that just happened, you know, uh, 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 last week or something, or, or this year. This is it's been going on where you got a lot of stores shutting down, where whether they just shut down completely or they're just going um, strictly online, where they, you know, where they, where they obviously they ship shit, ship your items to you. And Amazon Prime, Amazon has been a a, um, a key component in that. All right, where you know, and it's, it's it's really making people lazier, which that which which Esau wants. The Esau wants you to, you know, get out and do shit. They want you to stay at home and in front of the TV, in front of the computer, in front of your phone. You know, uh, 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 being fat and lazy, eating GMOs, and you know, and, and really killing yourself. All right, um, this is Second Ezra chapter uh, sixteen, and I'm gonna go straight to the point in verse forty two. Oh, 41, he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that as he that shall not dwell therein. So hey, all that all that merchandise, they have to liquidate a lot of that shit. A lot of these stores that are shutting down, they have to liquidize them, liquid uh um liquidize their merchandise and, and really not making a profit all right and, and you're going to see a lot of these stores um going to begin to be empty all right whether they whether they're open or not he's like shit they don't got the merchandise all right mainly these grocery stores that's going to really hit you hit, hit hard all right when they start um damn it was a it was a it was an article um uh that i shush, yeah i forgot let me see if i can find it but it's an article going into these food deserts how um how there's going to be uh a lot of food deserts where they're taking um let me see um, let 
it was an article where they're 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 um you know let me see yeah in, in food deserts highlight economic inequality in 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 equity in Chicago and this is a, a another one of those democratic run cities where they're moving all all, all the food you know the 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 um, major grocery stores maybe um you know further away from where you have to travel all right and, and they may leave you a Walmart uh maybe may leave you a Walmart but a lot of the shit in these stores they ain't putting no they're not putting no whole foods or no foods with uh no stores with healthy food in your areas they're putting bullshit or it says um I'll read a little bit of this real quick it says uh Hundreds of thousands of Chicagoans go to bed hungry or f to, or fill their stomachs with empty calories because that's all they can find or afford. The, ra the ration of food depends on the charitable donations or agonize over how to stretch the budget to pay for meals and get through the day. These, are, these aren't uh, dickination characters. In the 20, This is the 21st century reality for many people. Living in major U.S. cities, Riverdale, Chicago's far southeast side is 95% African American and 99.85% of the residents have low access to food defined as living more than a half a mile from the nearest supermarket, according to Chicago Health Atlas. So that's all I really want. But, you know, I mentioned it, so I you know, wanted to, you know, go into that because that's going to be the bigger uh, hit amongst you, Jake's. Jake's saying, you know, they ain't gonna care about no retail stores. They're gonna be caring about, um, you know, food. Where, where they gonna get, you know, uh, uh, where can they get, you know, food uh, uh, from some of these grocery stores because the food is gonna be scarce eventually. All right, and that's that's gonna play a major part in the downfall of America, where you see a lot of homeless. You see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of people are gonna be famished. All right. Um, this is Second Ezra chapter uh, six and verse twenty-two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And like I said, the main storehouses is that 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 that's going to matter to you people are these grocery stores, all right? Because <laughs> when 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 it's a when it's a uh, um, when it's some type of panic or, or a hurricane or tornado or some shit, not tornado, but hurricane or something major happens. What do people rush to the store for? They rush and get all, get it, you know, get water and toilet paper and, you know, all kind of food and shit to store up. So when shit get bad, that's what people are going to do. The people that have money. All right. And then a lot of the Jakes out there that don't, they're going to be left with, with, with pretty much nothing. You know, shit that, you know, shit that has no nutrients, has no real calories, as, as that article said. But we're coming into, you know, grim days here in America and like this retail apocalypse, the food deserts, all these things are, are, are you know, the wrath of Yahweh Shemar Shai. This shit is lightweight. This is light. All right. Them closing the store down in downtown, um, downtown uh, San Francisco. But all these things are a snowball effect of the things that are to come. All right, shit is not shit is shit is not looking good for Babylon. It's, you know what I mean? It's going to get worse. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. Um, shit, I'll just read all the way through uh, from one to four. Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw near. Nah, excuse me. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. He says, Remember the Creator. Who's the Creator? Yahweh. All right, Yahweh Bashinah Shai. In the days of thy youth. Because the evil days are coming. You're going to see evil, dark days ahead. All right? Where, you know, and, and the Most High is about to expedite this shit, man. He's about to turn things up. All right? Where, you know, if yeah, things happen, you know, you may see a store close here next month, this. Man, shit going to be, shit's going to happen so fast, you ain't going to know, your head's going to spin around. You ain't going to know what the hell is going on. All right? While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. All right. Well, 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 while you still got a chance, while you know it says while the while the sun, while the sun or the light or the moon and the stars be not darkened, because hey, this is this this truth is still you know this light is still shining. All right. Well, you know with the, we're coming into dark like I said dark days. All right. This light, this truth is still out there for you to receive and for you to get. Okay. But the day, like the scripture says in Joel, the day of the Lord is Joel. The day of the Lord is uh, gloominess. And, um, damn, what is this? I think it's, I think that's Joel. 
But they, the, the day of the Lord is is when you, when you see the scriptures speaking on the day of the Lord, it's not something uh, uh, um, to be taken lightly. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, the, um, I started 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke and shell, and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon and the moon into blood and the, and the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Is that the scripture? But it is a, 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 a scripture that says the day of the Lord shall not be. The point is the day of the Lord is is it's not going to be um, it's not what you think it's going to be. All right. Um, let me see. I don't know where, but I'll just go back to that. Um, oh, here it is, verse two. The day of is a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, and there have been never been the like. Neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. As the day of the Lord is coming. Okay, the day says they blow you the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm. Uh, um, I'm reading backwards. Like a holy mountain, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord coming, it is nigh at hand. This is all a part of the day of the Lord. America, Babylon falling, the economy getting worse. That's all a part of the day of the Lord. It's, it's, it's not going to be. It's not going to be light. It's all right. It's going to be a dark day. All right. The 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 the, the you know the minds of the people are going to be dark. People's day. The scripture says the, um, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, back to um, Ecclesiastes twelve and three. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All right, the grinders represent the workers. Okay, and, and it says the the um the grinder cease because they are few. It's not going to be a lot of people out there working. You got a lot of you know jobs being taken over by AI. All right, you got a lot of robots taking over jobs. So where are the jobs going? Where are those people that lo lose their jobs? Where do they? What do they do? They get unemployment benefits for a little while. And then what happens when the unemployment benefits get cut off and they can't find a job? All right. Hey, a lot of people are going to turn to crime. OK, a lot of people are just going to, you know, just just, you know, uh, um, you know, they, what you see is a, a trend among a lot of Edomites. They're going to just commit suicide. They're going to do murder, suicide, you know, take out their family and take out themselves. OK, that, that's a day. of That is a day of darkness. All right, amongst this whole, this whole, mainly America, but the whole planet. All right, because the day of the Lord is coming, and the Lord is coming with vengeance. He ain't coming, you know, uh, um, you know, to to to, to save everybody and, and and you know to love everybody. No, He's coming for vengeance. He's coming to redeem His elect. All right, and He's coming to take out this devil Esau. All right, verse four. And the doors of the and the doors shall be shut in the streets, meaning the stores, meaning those storehouses. Right, I read in Second Ezra uh, six and twenty two. The doors are going to be shut in the streets. It ain't going to be no, you know, uh, um, you know, 24 hour Walmarts and, you know, uh, uh, Costco's and Sam Club and all that shit. All right. When the sounding, the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice and he shall rise up at the voice of the birds and the daughters of music shall be brought low. Going into the grinders, he says the sound of the grinding is low. Why is the gr sound of the grinding low? Because it's not a lot of workers. As it says in um, the the previous previous verse about the grinders uh, ceasing. All right. Um, speaking of work in Babylon and Egypt, uh, this is uh, Isaiah nineteen and uh, fourteen. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst the midst thereof. He hath caused and he have, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. So it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, unemployment is going to be probably at fifty percent. You know, you see unemployment rates at you know this is what the the news says. Unemployment rates at this you know fourteen percent or thirteen percent. Oh, you know this many jobs were. Uh, 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 provided or, um, you know, in, in this month, 
you're going to see unemployment probably over 50 percent all right that, that that that's how bad it's going to get out here it's not going to be any work in egypt so like i said you got ai bots you got robots taking over you the, the simplest job you usually you used to get like man get a job at mcdonald's you can't even get that no more because they got a whole mcdonald's that's autonomous now all right you probably got one person in there that that's you know uh, engineer that's making sure the robots and the machines and shit don't fuck up. All right, maintaining them, maintaining the infrastructure. But then he probably comes in for two hours out the day, and that's it. That that's the type of job, you know. One person, you got one person running a, a goddamn um, a fast food place, and he only come in maybe two days, uh, two hours out of a, 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 a five, five days. All right, that that's you know that's your future of America. That's how this devil wants it. Okay, this devil is, you know, eventually there, you know, those that are going to, you know, get down with this man's system. Yeah, you'll be able to stay afloat for a little while. But hey, right after that, that, that MOTB is made, man, is, man, is mandated, made mandatory, you know, then comes the judgment. All right. The Lord's going to, you know, hey, that's a sift. That's the, that's the great sifter, that MOTB. All right. So a hey, Babylon is going down. America's going down man, faster than you think. All right, and, and you know, and we could be out of here, you know, by, by, by sometime next year, you know, and we don't know. That's why you got to stay on your watch. You got to stay circumspect and understand the times that we're living in, because the Lord is not when the Lord when the Lord comes when when the Most High sends His Son Yahushua to come, crack those clouds and deliver the elect and destroy this devil Esau, and the angels release those plagues upon this place. The Lord ain't gonna say, ain't gonna wait wait for you and wait for you to get the truth or wait for you to get right. Hey, it's the time to get right and time to get this truth is now. All right. If any individual out there that, that, that's, that's, you know, that's lacking, hey, that's your fault. Okay. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Habakkuk Badash, Shalom.